Grüezi and welcome back to Endless Space 2, where today we are going to continue pushing on the Nakalim here. Uh, we want to find out what kind of curiosities are here in Ingris, because we are still looking for more Adamantian for our system level, system development levels. And we are being texted with, by a lot of people, request an alliance and request an alliance. Okay, so they're both together in this. Um, what's the situation here? I don't even know where the Unfallen are. Do I? Ah, over here. Um, not that interesting, to be honest. So fonts? What, what color is that? Bright green. So we also only know one system. Um, that's weird because I think I'm more towards being friendly with the Riftborn, possibly. Um, annoying, annoying Vo uh, Vodiani. But they have to be, so who can blame them? Um, I don't know, I don't feel like, I, I don't know anything about those guys. They are, wait, they are at war with each other, and they want, both want an alliance. Who is offering more? Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I will not do any of that. So, I think I will probably have to resolve that. An economic behemoth, and... I mean, they could potentially invade me if they had any troops on board, which I think they do not. Nope. I might get myself some leechers that way. Do we have a port? Yes, we do. Uh, where's my nearest fleet? It's up here, which does have a portal. So maybe we should go there quickly to save that. I can't remember having left off with that. That must be new. So let's end the turn and start playing. I mean, this is a brand new colony. Let's, let's get rid of them. Hello, guys. So, first of all, Nos did some construction, and here we have... What do we have here? Where is Nos, first of all? Okay, in the middle here, there's portals nearby, so not very necessary to do that just yet. Do we have strategic deposits? We have one. So, not too bad. Two turns is also pretty quick. Uh, production is fairly alright right now. Let's get that going. Will I terraform? I think I might. So we will keep one hot, so that's probably not very worth it. That's 15 additional production. Well, it's still 15 production. And eventually we will be able to build improvements that increase the capacity of gas giants, so... Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, yeah, that's go okay for now. Then in Dill, in the system we just looked at, we probably need some more planets as well as food. Um, we do have two planets already. This is not gonna be super beneficial right out of the bat, because, you know, we're sieged and don't have any manpower, but uh, that's gonna be useful. So... I mean, we can still queue it up, by then we should have probably our people back. And that's a very weird system, very inhosp inhospitable system. All right, um, what do we have here? Har Harasham on Veni. Okay, interesting. Where is Veni? Of course, it's our capital. Harashams are for sterile planet and it's already there, so it's doing a fine job. Um, then we have another... Oh no, please don't ask me every single turn, otherwise I will, I will insult you if that's the case. Uh, who did we hack? We hacked the... Cravers, and we can get... Ooh, that would be nice. We do have deposits for it. Anything else that's nice? No, 
no. What about Focus Plasm? Also no. Yeah, it is Scam Absorption. Thank you very much. That was a very good technology. I don't remember how we did the hack, but I think that's probably going to be good enough. We also researched the other seven that we just did. Uh, that means we get some income now. That's amazing. It's probably just from here. Probably. But I thought we have, yeah, we have more. No, that's another one here. That's probably the one that we're getting because this one is uh, locked for the moment. Uh, we are being attacked by pirates with our hero. Uh, but it should be fairly straightforward. We can be at any range, so let's be far range so we get some shield absorption. We do have a shield after all. Oh, we got the ship. <laughs> That's nice. I forgot that he had uh, that equipped. Uh, do I really want that? That's the question. I don't think so, honestly. We have some more curiosities to scan here. Same over here. Oh, right, we are uh, a privateer here. Not sure how, how good this is gonna be, but... Oh, a Dementian. But that was not a deposit, that was just loot. And Pulsos. No, wait, the Dementian was down over here. Uh, that's, a, that's a bummer. We still have to be wary of our system approval. Because that's gonna be quite important. Alright, this one should be fairly easy, but I don't know whether we can actually take over Behemoths. Which... Um, which might have been a mistake attacking here. But uh, I guess we'll see. We want to be close range because they have long range weapons here. And um, let's prepare to lose our fleet. Ah, that's an option. And apparently they all were already damaged, so they, they straight up died. Which is good, because that means we can now get back and not have a problem with that. So we were over here. So we should go back there. Uh, dude, what are you doing? I need to have a, a fighting fleet here. So I would like to keep them as boarding vessels. Yeah. Wait, these are the same. Oh, that these are medium ships. They look the same to me. I don't know why. So these are also boarding vessels. Titanium shrapnel. Yeah, these are just increased the the damage done by the boarding bots. And this is just additional manpower. This is wrong. Boarding pot damage, that's just uh, defenses. I need these. I don't know what it was doing. I'm glad I looked at it. Alright. Um, we can probably upgrade the fleet right now. We have the money to do so, let's do that. What about you? You also have those. That's great. Perfect. Alright, I think that's already everything for this turn. Not a particularly interesting one, to be honest. Okay, our Argosy is ready again, and I'm debating on whether or not I should fly over there for the, the Adamantian deposit, because we do need ourselves some Adamantian. Also, the pirates are no longer hey, allied. You need. Nothing's too big for us. Or are they? Wait. You need something else? Make peace, yeah, let's make peace with the pirates. Oh, but it was forced. Okay, weird. Um, okay, but now we get the portals, that was what I was looking for. Because I would like to get over here. And colonize that. Ooh, that's also a potentially very nice system. Let's uh, get the Argosy out and fly it over here. We can still... 
debate whether or not we're gonna use it, but yeah. Still no. Okay, that's um, not that big of a deal, I think. Yeah, yeah, where are you even? You're up here. Okay, well, I mean, whatever. Oh, got some populations, it seems. Virak, what about you? I could do some some terraforming. Um, this is also quite nice, but then again, I don't need that much more food. Since the planet's already almost full. I have so many things still to build. Also, level 3, I should probably do that. Hold on a second. Which ones are not level 3 yet? Basically everything. Elcyon. Which ones are the, what, the ones producing most? So Nerad shall get it. It's better to have a few systems that have great production than many that have mediocre. So building ships is always going to be weird. Uh, that seems like a worth investment, no matter what kind of terraforming we're going to do, but that looks good. Um, as I said, food probably not necessary. Strategic, we have one strategic resource, which we will eventually have to boost with the mining, but I'm not sure whether that time is now. Influence, we have quite a lot, despite having active laws. I think I'll keep it like that for now. <clears throat> Mintaka. Uh, first of all, production, please. And then we should probably put some exercise stations here and some evolved soils there. Sustainable farms are also nice because we do have three planets. One of them is gold. And definitely also intensive cultivation logistics. Makes a lot of sense here. And I think that's enough for now. Let's let our fleets move. Uh, you have more probes for the curiosities. Oh, now the system has gotten a lot more interesting. So yeah, so we are going to settle there. And we have found ourselves an enemy ship. A colony ship no less would have been nice if we have had I gotten a colony ship an arrow than this reply. Um, I will of course continue to attack are we at war by the way we are not but I think it was kind of time I wanted to discover more curiosities in their systems first to know where I should st where, where I should strike because right now I don't really have an idea Um, that is confusing to me, but okay. Um, okay, we can still maybe build two more scout ships. It's gonna be done next turn anyway, so I that's great. Yeah, yeah, you hate me, nothing new. Eat an incense. So we will not be able to attack them in their territory. Uh, the Ark has gone, by the way, so that's good. I think we're probably just gonna stay here for a second. We do have... No, we don't have damaged ships. Oh, we don't have any movement any anymore anyway, so... Yeah, let's skip that. Uh, I, wonder, what is the I think... I think you're fine to be in my territory. Probably. Maybe. How's the pressure going on over here? We seem to be pushing back quite significantly, which I'm happy about, because otherwise this could get ugly quite quickly. Ah, and it's just the rolls. Sure, let's continue. We did finish our research of um, resource generation deposits. Now that's very important. Um, let's skip taking a new technology for a second and go back to our home system. So we do need a kind of rapid response uh, fleet in order to deal with arcs. Since we found out that we cannot actually 
do anything against them. That being said, we don't have access to the medium ship, offensive ship, so we should probably fix that. It's actually also quite fast. Let's get the advanced version as well. Uh, what is that? Influence conversion rate, don't really care about that. Improve, uh, approval for anomalies. I would also like to get the spear class. Carriers are so overpowered. Hmm, what should I do? This is also very good. This is gonna be a long-term benefit for uh, if we get that. Let's actually do that. This is not that great. Um, that's pretty significant. And does some advanced terraforming. I think that's also a very good option here. Uh, we do also need better weaponry here. Uh, this was not the upgrade. We should probably put the upgrade in a bit earlier than we have right now. So this is a tech we need anyway. So that's quite great. Actually, that's a, a faction specific pod here. Okay, that's good. So, um, yeah, I think that's good for now. Let's get building. Uh, yeah, I wanted to build ships, but we can't actually do that yet because we don't have the blueprint for it. Do we have strategic deposit? Yes, we do. So definitely worth building. Uh, food, we don't really need food here. Um, that's gonna be very good. Same, we have so many things to build here. What, what was going wrong? Actually, you know what? Let's build all these. These special ones. Like that one and that one. We don't really need the intensive cultivation here because we have so much food already. And full on pops. Um, that might be better on a different planet. This different system. We don't have any temperates here. And we're not intending to get any, so... Yeah, let's make two fleets here. And immediately turn them pirate hunting mode. So we want one over there. Pirates should not attack me. Ah, uh, yeah, that was the problem, right? So let's retreat. They will probably know that it was me anyway. Can we go here directly? Actually, let's, let's search first. And then go there directly. Because if they are with the pirates, they should probably not be here as well. Meaning that you can then get over there and scan the last one. So we would also like to scan what's over here. And I'm, I might be interested in just taking out or taking over this fleet. How much damage should they do? 1100 versus a 3000 defense. That's doable. The offense doesn't matter because we're gonna just be taking over the ships. Let's try that. Let's screw with them a bit. Please give me your fleet. So, uh, one small ship in every flotilla. That looks fine. Honestly, yeah, that looks like looks great. What is your range preference? You want to be long range, so let's go close range then. And I would like to watch that, but they will likely run away. They will not. Interesting. Okay, that's a bit an odd composition. I might lose a ship here or two. I will actually leave it in this uh, mode. Or maybe just control the camera myself. Uh, where are their ships? They are over here, but that's only two of them. No, you know what? I, I can't do that. <laughs> let's, let's go in like that. So they're shooting missiles at us. I don't see our pods. Oh, there they are. They're all going after one ship. That's a bit bad because, yeah. Okay, that ship is mine. Yeah, oh, we're gonna lose this ship so badly. 
they just fly around aimlessly afterwards after they took the ship. That's also kind of weird. The reason why I took defense ship was that they are not focusing on one single ship like that. But they seem to do it anyway, which is a bit weird. I mean, granted, these are all attack ships and that's usually how they do it. But yeah, we still have 6,000. That should potentially be enough to survive it. Even from the different flotilla, they fire on the same ship. We're doing some serious overkill on these ships. That's quite bad, actually. So that will probably also be enough. They just stick to the hull, that's weird. Okay, that was very close. But yeah, the entire fleet is mine. Which is nice. The missiles apparently missed. Ooh. But yeah, we have a, a, a fleet that is good for attacking now. So that's something. We need to repair one of our ships now, but... That's all right. So let's say take a look at this design here. So they have actually pretty good setup here. I like that decently. It's not awesome, but it's decent. Uh, what about Squire 12? This one has just missiles instead. That's a 10 again, 10, 12, 11. That's a Warden. What about you? You also have lasers. That's not that great. But you know what? As a long-ranged fleet, this, this is not too bad. Uh, what does it cost to repair you? Oh, it's not in my system. Let's actually get you back to one of my systems. Let's bring you here. Thank you. And let's just, let's just leave you here. 6,500. That's a bit more than I'm willing to afford, but we can just disband them for a while until they're all healed. And uh, yeah, then we are gonna go back and use them. Here I retreated, that was okay. Antimatter was found on Duyel, that was here. Okay, that made it a bit more interesting now. Veni has been compromised, I do not like that. That is my capital, nobody should tinker with that. Let's actually run some sleeper integration here. No, please stop asking. Let's actually check here. They did quite some damage against me, and most of that is from missiles. I wonder how I can defend against that, because that's honestly the weakest point about the strategy, missiles. Because missiles generally have a very high damage, with the drawback being that they can be shot down very easily. I mean, I could add a little bit of, um, of defense, but then again, that would potentially kill their ships and that's a way better outcome maybe I need to get better defense um, modules so uh, what about you you got skills are you a no you're not are you though wait no you're not a senator is what I was thinking because this only really affects senators uh, shield capacity on ship is meh. Vision is never bad. I oh, should also have picked up the um, experience gain. Alright, we did just hack the Nakalim and hopefully they have something useful for us. And the answer to that question is not really. But I think we knew that already. Uh, I will probably get this in case we need to... Um, invade anything this is gonna help us is there any other home system that we have easy access to uh, we could hack Nakos here but I think we tried it in the past and didn't quite work but let's try again anyway and finally buildings Zinnius is done with a science improvement you should definitely have exercise science stations and you should probably have evolved soil a sim camp is also quite necessary. And a labor. I mean, 
Ah, now we're gonna go away from sterile, so probably not. Uh, we do have a luxury deposit, but then again, this is gonna be probably enough food for the whole system. So, we don't have strategic depo deposits, but still 10% science is something I should not look over anyway. I will probably leave it at that for now. Elma. What about you? You look like a good candidate for AI labor. A very good candidate indeed. And I should now also go through and do the slack and sludge center everywhere I can. Uh, anything else here? No, there is not. What about you? You have... N yeah, you do have strategics. And you should probably have a exercise station. Perfect. Yeah, that was the whole reason I got this technology, because it's just freaking amazing. Another one here, yeah, we definitely should switch that out. One second, uh, yeah, that was right. I thought I saw one more, but look at this deposit. Oh, it's probably already boosted by, yeah, it's boosted by the mines. Uh, you should have, you don't really have a focus, so you might as well do the spin project. And actually... Yeah, that's, that's smarter. It's one more turn of resources. Uh, let's get it everywhere, because why not? Yeah, this is the part where we deplete the planets that we are not supposed to deplete, right? Those stupid cravers, they're everywhere. Get over there. You want to be on a fertile world. Uh, well, it's kind of eaten up, so, you know... Sad for you. So, strategic is only that one, which we already queued, so that's fine. We can pro probably also push that to the front here. Yeah, like that. And same goes here. We do also need another uh, construction in here. And honestly, AI labor makes sense here. Jungle and a hot gas giant makes it worth it. A jungle alone makes it worth it, but this way even more. So, again, slug, slag and sludge center, same goes here. We will have so much titanium, but I mean, we're still using it, so why not? Definitely here. Can we speed that up? I think we can. Yes, that is a good option here. Uh, you can do something more interesting, and you definitely need some geo-industrial plants. Uh, this we will leave, because I don't think we should mess with that, with that order. Uh, you can, by the way, also use the Slag and Sludge Center for luxury resources, which is a very potent thing to do as uh, Horatio, which I forgot about when I was doing the Horatio playthrough, but yeah, you can totally do that. Oh, definitely here. We're gonna have quite a lot of those, which is amazing, because we're gonna need them. And I think... no, we're not through yet. This one will have to queue up here. Still not through. We have so many systems. I'm not used to having so many systems. I have usually much less. Uh, but that also makes every system now done with... Uh, or busy with constructions. The other... Scout, where shall it go? There's something more to this to be discovered in Imnos. And while I don't really feel like I should, maybe let's check anyway. Okay, that was not worth it. Let's check Delphinus as well, because why not? Kika Lattice and Okay, just some titanium. Not bad, but also not terribly interesting. So my fleet, uh, I should repair this ship, if anyhow possible. Uh, but maybe let's just stay here and defend against any more Nakalim fleets. Although we are kind of being bullied here by the other um, petitioner here. They're probably gonna take their systems back if they can. And, you know, they had them first, so it's not like something really terrible. Terrible. That's my Lost Horatio ship. And any more curiosities? They closed their borders to me. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. So they're totally not friendly with me. 
Meaning I should probably reconsider the offer from the um, Sophons because you know if they like me and we have a common enemy, which is not too bad. Uh, let's just check some more systems in this direction because I think the Sophons are probably living there. We do have a leadership from a. Have we been here in Zane? That's weird. Um, but I mean, I cannot use it to leech, so I might as well sell it. Because I also cannot retrofit those ships. Weird, it has a basic railgun. That's a weird flex to put on a leecher ship, but okay. I will not complain. Um, but yeah, I will, I will sell that. I, I don't need that. Some more titanium. Nice. And you can totally look for more... Curiosities. Hard target. What does this do? Increase long range defenses used to keep. Ooh, that is amazing. I don't usually change up tactics very much because these ones are not too bad. It's a bit overpowered that they give you like so strong ones from the start. But uh, no, that's life puts away. Where is it? Hard target. Huh, I thought that was like all long range, but apparently that's not the case. Then it's not amazing. Never mind. You know what I don't know is whether the pots also deplete my manpower, because then life pots away would not be too bad. But yes, it seems like for now that's probably the best way to go about this. I could replace take trophies, because I mean... This would give us a defense on the third, on the second flotilla. But then again, I mean, this is just free, free stuff. No, no let's leave it like that for now. So yeah, that's the problem. There's not really anything that's this so much better. I can make a demand for you. Why is that? Is it from Dill? Why is why is this so positive on influence? From oh, wrecked arcs. Yeah, I had that in the past. That gives so much influence. I should probably also speed this up just a tiny bit. I do have a little bit of money and I think I wasn't saving up for anything in particular. I do need more adamantian. I desperately need more adamantian. And I don't need this system. I, I want I want this one. How close are we to that? Oh interesting. Usually they get attacked. Oh that's pirates and they cannot attack because it's a scout ship. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I could have looked at that, but that was just some please don't attack me thing. Oh, wow. We're having a lot of pressure against us from the Cravers and the Nakalim. Both of those. Systems covered by infants. Oh, that's Sinius. That's right. That's not good. Really? That is basically a declaration of war. So, um, Sophons... You know what? Yes, I will. But don't expect me to help you, you should help me. Oh, now we have a lot of things there. Yeah, we just have another system covered. Um, so yeah, we need to fix that immediately. And are you able to invade? You probably are. And this fleet is weak enough that we can probably do so. You are a pest. Yeah, yeah, you are a pest. I'm lucky that they don't have a temple, because otherwise they might have already used my system. So yeah, I need to fix that. Um, they have decent manpower. What is my manpower like? Let's let's check my manpower. Uh, you know what? Even though that's resources that are quite expensive, I think we should do that. More damage for those troops. And then I guess we're gonna try to get their home system. This is gonna be a very tedious and long kind of invasion, so it's not gonna go very well. You force her majesty to lose her. Um, but yeah, we need to do that. All right, building is nothing new. And then we got some pops gained. 
Bria has been compromised. Um, can we afford that? Ah. I mean, yeah, we can. We should probably do that. You did a singularity, and I mean, I can't do it at the same time because you know I can't declare war against myself. Yes, it's already locked. Yes, compromised, and we are now the Piran Aggressive Defense Treaty. I like the name. Okay, we discovered most of the galaxy. You're loyal, don't really care. You're sneaky. You're distressed. <laughs> they really want me gone, won't they? Um, what is the pressure like with you? It was good, but with, uh, with the treaty that uh, changed it a bit, so we'll probably just have to do that back so we neutralize it. So you don't like that, of course. Uh, that's no longer valid. And, yeah. So, we'll not watch that, of course. That's gonna be trivial. We wanna be long range because of our ships. And we should probably be like that. Yeah, that's just, um, you know what, let's put the uh, injured ones over there, like this one, this one, because they cannot shoot at the other flotilla until all of my flotilla are dead. So yeah, like this, it's gonna be fine, pretty sure. They will run away anyway. Yeah. Um, less refill rate on manpower and less retrofit cost. Don't really care. Let's go. We're not thinking about retrofitting right now, so I think that's gonna be fine. We also gained a level for a system hero. And since you don't have anything else to use, let's take the dust one. Even though it's generally not so good. At least that particular skill, not not dust, per se. Okay, decent. That's a decent system. Ooh, Cephaloras, and nobody has made contact with them yet. That is a chance that they will not let go. They have a great trait. Although we don't really use the luxury deposit stuff, but the 20 industry from system level, that's great. So, uh, we have arrived here, and I mean, they will run, but let's, let us well try. Let's at least force their hand. They will probably go to Kran now. No? Okay. We cannot attack the same turn, but we will sure as hell will make their life difficult. We cannot invade. Because of the, <laughs> because of the settler. Okay, I get it. Um, hmm. Yeah, for now I'm just concerned with Kura, but we're also gonna have to do something about Duel. Either we raise it or we take it over, and I think we're gonna take it over because it does have antimatter, which is a valuable resource. So, what to do with you? You are out of movement, so let's just keep you there. And you should definitely continue, please, before you're shot down. You can get started on Corosities here. My, that's many. That was a unit of population. I hope it's gonna take the teleporter, otherwise it's gonna die. For sure. And here we also have some... Corosities to scan. Okay, Quadrinix, not too bad. There's also something there, and it looks like the Cravers are coming. Or going. It looks like they're going. But yeah, we will also have to do something about Matarka. That stupid planet. We found Horatio, nice. Kikalatis, not too interesting, and Kodernix, yeah. So, uh, I could ask something from them, but I think that's fine. I don't know where, what arcs are nearby, but then again, I don't really care. So, no need to ask them. They hate me anyway, they will not do anything about that.
So, market price changes don't really care, Ria is done building and it's definitely sim camp time. Followed by, this is hot and this will change, so it's only one, one planet and it's gonna be 25 maximum bonus for now. Uh, 10 when we get it at first, so probably not something we get right now. Um, getting some more dust is never bad. Yeah, let's do that. I also do want my... Where is it? This one. Built. It's very important. Maybe even pushes back the influence border here against the, the Cravers. Although I, I doubt it because they have so much pressure there. Also, Virak needs to build something and here we can totally do this because there's also a strategic resource. We should also not forget about the mines. Let's actually go through the systems and queue those up where we don't have them already because that's very important. Also, this is not too bad. Let's push that in front a bit. We do have the mines here already, so no need to push that here. We already have them here as well as here. Seems like we built them in most places. Uh, Quadranix also very nice to get. Adamantian, sure, definitely. The production is much better than I thought it was. Maybe I was uh, confused. I do need some other improvements here. For some reason they are not there yet. This one's already cute, that's great. We do also need the sim camp. And I think we should get it after the Slag and Sludge Center. Any mining tag? Yes, indeed. Here, obviously, we already have it. And I think now I'm through anyway. No, no I'm not quite. So many tasty resources. Alright, now everything should be queued up, yes. We also got some more pops and a hustle trace detected, that's fine, nothing too bad. We've got a super duper proposal for you. Um What does that give me? Exactly. Greetings, cubed. Dude. I can't even propose it because they did. Uh, but you know what? I think I'm gonna take this. I don't intend to use my influence anytime soon, because I think I already changed governments. Yes, I did. Um, yes. I will need to build some of the... Now that's very sad. But I would like to have one. That's That's at least good to know. Um, industry, definitely taking industry here. Free industry is always great. So you can have food, you can have nothing really interesting here. Production is not too bad and I don't think that's very necessary. Because I mean that's the home system if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's Venny. So Venny is pretty happy all in all. Just because of the sleeper integration, it's a bit suffering right now, but that's fine. In the grand scheme of things. Who are you? Okay, you're just a scout ship, that's fine with me. You arrived from Pixis, so I would like you to actually go to the pirate system, because there's also a lot of curiosities there. We might need to get rid of the pirates for... If, if the system is good. So here we, yes, we have the petitioner. They always heal it for some reason. Is it finally destroyed? No, it's not. It has retreated. Where to? Probably down there. All right, now we can invade. Man, that's gonna be a very long and tedious battle, isn't it? Does it look any way better like this? No, it does not. Ooh, they brought a fleet. Don't mind if I do. I can use some more ships to bolster the other fleet. 
So, uh, what is your strength? It's still long range, so let's go close. Where's the damage ship? It's over here. Let's put it in the third flotilla because they cannot in any case attack that. Even if they put three ships there, I think it's gonna be fine. We don't need to don't need to look at that. They will run away anyway, yeah. I wonder why they came in the first place. But yeah, um we just have more total troops. We don't have more troops to put down at once, which is bad. That's why you need to get in the the um, Manpower modules on your ship. Wow, that was a lot of damage. That was a hell of a lot of damage. Poor soil, don't really care. I can this ask something of unwelcome. you. Still basic only, that's not something I care about. But I would like to uh, ask patience. you to remove your fleets from my sphere of influence. I the faith. Then I shall denounce you. If she wants to defend the faith, that's fine with me, but I'm just gonna denounce her for it. Oh, Imnos has been colonized. But I think that's fine. New tactics available. Okay, that's not that one. Let's actually check what we just got. That's not new tactics. I don't know what that was. We don't have new... a oh, new tactics slot available. Okay, that's... Maybe reading would help. Um, hmm. I mean, it is nice to have something like that in case you need it. Elion, what would you like to build? Do you already have the sim camp? Yes, you do. You might get that for some more production, free production. And science, by the way, also science. How cheap are those? They're pretty cheap. <clears throat> also hot, cold, so I mean, that's still useful. It takes a few turns, but that's useful. And definitely also some mines, apparently I did not do all of them. Where is that even? That's over here. That's quite a bad system. I don't know why I colonized that. So what about you? You also have the sim camp, so maybe let's do the same thing. And get some... I mean, yeah, we couldn't get more influence in order to get eventually a another agreement with someone. Oh, we should have totally do this one first. We can always do that later, the other one. So, that looks nice. Lots of things are being built now. Nothing interesting there. And faction has been assimilated by me. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what does that mean here? Not too bad. Okay, that's, that's alright still. Let's get the general stuff going. Just like so. That's temperate. Um, yeah, honestly, not that great of a system. You should have the money, for now at least. Okay, I failed that. That's fine. Uh, that should be relatively easy. Oh, that was the one I... Okay, that's why I got the... Oh, I confused it. That's a different one. Alright, uh, let's make pirates out of those and harass the, those guys a little bit. The invasion is still going and we're just gonna blitz them as long as we can. We have some reserves, but that's gonna be quite bad in the long run. They can draft so many times. So... Tough time. Wow, that's a lot of pirates. Did you see that big fleet? So, finally we can do all of those. Nothing interesting. So we don't have to expel the pirates. That's good. I didn't really want to because that would mean that I would have problems with them. Where was that Adamantian? Was that over here somewhere? 
of course it was. But that's good, because if we get that, it's kind of a free colonization. And next turn we're gonna get tech call, and then we're gonna have problems again. Great. Science production. Okay, nothing interesting here. Advanced decoy torpedoes. What are they doing? That's just damage. Meh, not that great. And the deciduous trees. Nothing too interesting. So, with those combined, we can now get the remaining ones here and have some more information. Okay, it's, I mean, it's, it's alright. We'll take Duyel because that's way better. Uh, we might as well go for the rest of the systems. We did get a ship upgrade, which is nice. We should totally upgrade our ships. Sim camp has been... It's not sim camp. Sim camp has been built. I don't know whether it's a sim camp. It's up for them to decide. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Not really, at least. I mean, it's still 10% science. And only takes 3 turns, so yeah, why not? So, Picter. 10% uh, science here is definitely worth it, as well as uh, the... F wait. Oh, that's a portal, never mind. I was, I was selecting the wrong thing. Got confused. I definitely need the portal over here, and I think I should probably buy that out. What did I just click? Yes, portal, very important. That way we can travel and defend if necessary. So, okay, that is a solo quest that have, we have completed. Five ships with a lot of defensive military power for a heroic hull. Uh, what is this quest? I don't remember it. But, I mean, neat? Can only be used by heroes. Weird. Is that a faction quest? Wow! 50% industry? But look at the cost of that. Um, I mean, that's doable. And it's also doable. Oh, yeah, that is the faction quest. I would like to get OP bot. He's a decent um, governor. And, like, story-wise, it makes only sense to get him. I mean, this is nice, but look at the costs. We're probably not going to be building that anytime soon. And an additional hero is never bad, right? I mean, there's totally... Yeah, there's... There's totally systems that don't have a hero yet, right? And increasing science is something we want to do anyway. You don't like me. Elyon has been compromised. Someone's hacking like crazy. Oh, man. Um, yeah, we can't really afford the other one. Blood money. I call blood money. Antimatter found. Yeah, we already knew that. Blitz. Oh, that went well for some reason. We might actually get the system sooner than I thought we would. What about Taurus? That's gonna be dangerous to go there. Let's check Yedix. You have more curiosities to scan, and then probably also in Lysol. Veil is here. Is that one of the faction planets? No, that's just a unique one. Okay, some influence, not that interesting. And there's an, an arc, so we have to fight it with our um, borrowed fleet here. Oof, they have strong arcs, and we should also be long range. That's gonna be a massacre. So, I would like to have everything in this flotilla apart from one ship. And that might be as uh, this, an almost destroyed ship, so... It does show that we're better close range. 
Why is that? I mean, guess it's true, we do have some beams. Let's try close range. Because that means their damage will decrease while our faster than ours decreases. Um, but yeah, that is gonna be bloody. Yeah. But I mean, it was free ships, it should be fine. We should actually go down there and just grab the other fleet of theirs. Because we can. And right, we cannot afford that. Wow, this is expensive. Let's just orbit for a while. I hope I will not lose my fleet like that. Yeah, you just you, you hang in there. Uh, it's one of those that doesn't go away. I get it. You play games with me, don't you? Oh, Nerod needs to build something. I apparently overlooked that. Geological vault it is, definitely, because of the deposit and well, as well as... It's science, for free. Since we have the sim camp, let's as well build some defenses. They're gonna be good anyway for, you know, defensive purposes, but more stuff from it is also great. And we do have two temperates here, so I think that's a good place to put down the Obelisk of Remembrance. Because I don't think we're gonna be terraforming these. So, yeah. We are losing manpower for some reason, but pro probably just because we build all those improvements. Yeah, that increases our total cap, I believe. So, okay, lots of things built. Nothing interesting. We already have that. Wow, that was quick. Um, yeah, we can assign him somewhere. We might, we might even get a quest for where we have to assign him. Um, Docker fleet on the system already got two. That has at least a lot of military power. Bereaved population and Ariga too. What is bereaved? I don't know what that word means. I think I've never finished a faction quest for the Volters because I have no idea what that is. Okay. You can orbit or I can kind of take them over. I think that negotiating is probably the better idea. So apparently he's not going to be a system hero just yet. Also, where is Auriga 2? Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> My settler is so far away. But yeah, let's let's put the new hero in Veni. Uh, no, not the system. Create a fleet in Veni. And then let's put some engines on your ship, so you're gonna get there slightly quicker than you're currently. We might also want something like probes. He has a lot of support slots. Ah, uh, he's a uh, consular class, which you usually don't see as a ship, that's why. Um, uh, I mean, he's not gonna be a, a fleet hero, so we might as well do this. Uh, do I care about weapons? I don't think so. I don't think so. He's gonna run away anyway, and if someone else is there, sad for me, right? Yeah. Uh, Skill-wise, I will assign him to a system, so... I will do this. Production... Yeah, like this. So, Mr. OP bot, let's get you over here. For how many turns do I need to orbit? Just orbit. Oh, but he has to be level 10. Oh, that's uh, that's an issue. Yeah, that was stupid to assign him to a fleet. Oh no, that's gonna take a while now. You're aggressive. And you want a truce and give me titanium. Honestly, I have no problem with you, so let's just take that. Oh, you're aggressive like four times. Interesting. They are now friendly. Not super friendly, but friendly. We also did a successful hack against the Cravers here, and they can give us drum rolls. Nothing useful. I mean, at least this is a higher tier tech, so let's get that. 
and I will continue hacking them for as long as I get any benefit from that. And someone apparently has put something hackable against me. So I think Elma here doesn't necessarily need additional protection. Then we have, yeah, we got this for free. I mean, this one, this shield is decent, but then again, I don't, I will probably not use that. Battle tactics, also not that interesting. So we'll just skip it. Let's be lucky with another blitz. Uh, they did draft and still lost. So, okay, we have this in one turn or so. We did destroy most of the infrastructure, but oh well. War is hell, isn't it? We are being attacked somewhere. How dare they? More adamantian. There's a lot of adamantian just not in our systems. So we did find some remnants. Interesting. Subterranean deposit of adamantian and dust. Okay, they are attacking the scouts. And uh, that means they will have to run away. And that means we're losing one ship. Sad, but oh well, what can you do? Any other jobs for you guys? I mean, there's Altair here and Vorta, why not? Uh... Oh, they have pirate contracts with them. Well, that sucks. I also know that these guys have a pirate contract with them. So maybe the Vodiani? Although that's gonna take a while until we're there, but still, maybe we can bother them. So, it seems like it's just next turn then, right? Do I have planes yet? I do, I should totally have planes. I think 50 50 is about right. That should definitely speed that up quite significantly. Because the problem with tanks is um, killing other tanks. And planes just do that job. We did have some problems with our influence, I just realized. And oh, we should definitely upgrade our ship hulls. I for totally forgot about that. So, as a large slot. We cannot put weapons in the large slot here. That is a bummer. What should I put then? I think for now I'm gonna just leave it free. Uh, but eventually, I definitely also want one better shield here. Eventually there is a... I don't remember what it's called. Blast effect battery that damages all ships in the flotilla. And there's a great way to kill small ships. Um, and you know what? We're not that interested in these small ships anyway. We're interested in the medium and large ships. So maybe that's an option. And for the support slot, I mean, there's... You know what? I mean, we are also using them for for offensive purposes. We might as well put some troops in there. We're overkilling the ships anyway. So... More manpower deployment limit is gonna be beneficial. Then we also got the longship, which we previously did not have at all. And I think the next one is actually the upgrade of the longship, right. So let's actually not do the, the design yet because we're gonna change it anyway afterwards. So, uh, Pictor. Pictor is going to get some specializations going, of course, very important. And keep any kind of cravers off that, um, of those planets that are still fine. Oh, we do have another level 3 available and we should probably put that on a very productive system. Like Virak. Nose also needs to do something and since we are having a little bit of problems there, let's actually fix that. We have one luxury deposit that's not gonna be that great. Uh, we have a system level 2, so that's 10 approval. 
that will also put us to happy, which allows us to get benefit from the National Museum, at least for a while, until we colonize that next system. Rhea, what are we gonna do in Rhea? We have one hut that's decent, not great. We do have a strategic resource, so that makes sense. Also, we're ecstatic here, so influence. Very good option here. Also, we have the same camp, so we might as well put in those. Let's, let's do it this way. It's gonna give us a little boost of production. And yeah, that's it there. We have some new pops. We also have events ending. Oh, we got a lot of influence from an event. I forgot about that. Also some happiness from an event. But we are still devoted overall. We have some systems that need a notch. You want a truce. You know what? I don't think that's gonna happen. Let me just finish that battle here. So yeah, that was easy in the end because of the planes. That just turned the battle around. And we are going to... Yeah, we will, we will occupy the system. And um, screw our, our happiness a little more. And unfortunately, because of the way we uh, took the system over, we destroyed most of the infrastructure. So we're going to have to spend some time rebuilding that. Um, a truce would put Mintaka in danger, and I don't feel like that's a good option. And there's a ship that wants to be taken over. It will likely run away, but still, we can try. Yeah. Of course, you run. And we gained the uh, con constellation control. Nice. So, nothing interesting there. I'm gonna come back to you in a second. Um, system hero, you might as well take some science. So, I, I don't think we can do that. I hope she doesn't try to force it on me because I don't have that much influence and I'm negative now. So you please you remove your fleets and then Do you enjoy then you remove the singularity. For your deeds, okay, they removed the fleets deeds, and uh, okay, interesting, they removed everything. I don't know why, I would have never done that, but thanks I guess. So, you're done searching over here, so might as well bring you back home. Alright, so this guy, he has probes, so we might as well search some stuff that gives him some XP. And, wow, that's a lot of, of uh, curiosities here. We could put him on the other fleet, because he's, he's better as a a fighting hero rather than a um, invasion hero. So let's maybe do that. Let's get you there and then upgrade you. Do you have 19 movement? No. Oh, that's 19 command points. Yeah, that, was, that was scary for a second there. Alright, we're out of things to do, so let's go for the next turn. Uh, some systems are done building stuff, which is great. So, Elma, what about you? You should totally do some science stuff, right? This is basically free. And you do have the sim camp, so... Uh, we should also have totally get some approval going. It's probably first. You do have a strategic, so that makes sense. Yeah, that's probably good for now. And there's a lot of systems that need doing something to do. Um, you can get the National Museum up. And I guess some money and then also that stuff. Elion, what about you? You are not happy, so let's fix that. And then also get the National Museum, because that's at least plus one per turn. And it's built fairly quickly, so I think it's gonna be fine. Narrat is done with all the defensive stuff. Uh, also, not very happy, so let's get that fixed as well. This will also put it to happy. 
So National Museum time. Sometimes it's just time to fix the same thing on every single system. Uh, definitely see the tourism agencies, agencies as well as public-private partnerships. Very basic buildings. Uh, then also intensive cultivation is going to be very important here. AI cultivation... I mean, it makes sense. We have two systems here that profit from it. Interplanetary transport network as well. Oh, mining. Yes, please. We might even want to buy that out. That was narrowed, right? No, it was not. Was it Bria? Yes, it was. So we can buy one of them out. And we should at least look what we can sell from the luxuries, because we're never ever gonna use them. They actually sell quite decently, except for the dust trees. I should probably click differently. Wow. I'm rich. You know what, might as well get rid of those, I'm not gonna use them, so... I just flooded the, flooded the market. Look at all the price drops. Um, Nerod. Uh, no, not Nerod. The other one. I forgot the name of the thing. Uh, but it should be on top of the queue. It's Priya, right. So we should also buy this one out. We have the money. We are losing population in Kura. Oh, that's the new one I just got. Okay, that's fine. Not a big deal. We should also get the sim camp in here. It's not that big of a um, priority, but still. Uh, let's go to Duel. Duel. That's an interesting route you're taking, but okay. Who am I to judge? Okay, they are now amicable, so we should be able to get a quest from them. Hopefully, an easy one. Search Quadus with 100 dust. You know what? That's totally doable. And it's gonna be you doing that. How much more? Actually, we can settle now. Should I is the question, though. The problem is someone else might get it, and that's a bit of an issue. I'm only two systems over. For some reason, I thought there was three. Yeah, come on, let's get this. Um, probably the Arctic one here. Yeah. We can use some of our money to develop it. So these are adjacent, so... No, not quite adjacent. Let's also get a portal going. Why not? All the basics will be bought out. Nope. That's what I wanted. So that one too. Let's also get the planets going. Sim camp we can also buy out. This is probably very expensive to buy out. You know, that's, that's doable. Never give me money. It's a bad idea. There is one luxury, so not that big of a priority for that. It's actually quite happy. Interesting. We have the faction sovereignty. That's fine. Don't really care about that. We are imminent victory. Supremacy. Why? Oh, my alliance controls four of eight home systems. You know, while we might go for that, I don't think that's how we're going to go for that. I mean, husk is something that I might get anyway, because, you know, it's just around the corner. Oh, I did get uh, Nakalim's home system. Then, of course, the Sofans have their own, and apparently they have another one as well. I don't know which one. Or do I have the ones from the... What are they called? Yeah. From the Vodiani. Yeah, I'm kind of dangerous, apparently. I didn't even notice. 
um, the kind of wonder that goes very well for the um, Walters is the wonder victory because you're gonna get so many strategic resource incomes at some point that it just only makes sense to to go for that as well. Um, but of course, science is always an option. Although I think we are pretty far back on science, so probably not a good idea for us. And you as a system hero, you can go for some forced labor. We have our OP bot here with some more curiosity scanning. And you can do this one. And I guess Vort as well, why not? We did find some Harashems again. And Void Stones. Don't really care about those that much. And this, this looks like an advanced demand. Yes, For indeed. Reason do you interrupt our crusade? Um, the economic tribute is something that can potentially be very lucrative if um, the faction you're oppressing is actually good at something. Uh, unfortunately, the Vodiani here don't really have much to offer. But then again, the only other options for advanced uh, terms would be technologies and hero ban, I believe, which is pointless to me. So these are all not that great. I mean, this is at least a higher level one. Hardened alloys, this too. I mean, this is one that we're going to get anyway at some point for three additional command points let's get this why not and then as a resource do you have you don't have advanced resources what's wrong with you well then give me all of your titanium and you can have if you don't agree a military stand down Shall defend yeah, faith. she doesn't like me so much and she apparently she's not afraid. That's one of the important things if you want to do that. They have to be afraid of you, otherwise it's not going to work. So anyway, to increase our influence output, no, definitely not. We need to increase our happiness though and uh, we need 85 for that. You know what? Let's spend a little bit of the uh, antimatter for that. Because at least then we will have a chance to push back slightly. Although it's probably too late already. You do definitely also need the National Museum. And probably also some happiness. You have a lot of luxuries, might as well get that. Uh, you know what, let's just buy this out. Are we pushing back? Um, it's it's almost neutral, but we're slightly pushing back. We cannot see, I think, the influence of their system unless we have like have it hacked. Oh, uh, yes, we can. Twenty nine and four point five. Actually, we should be pushing a lot harder than that. We have a lot more influence push from from here, but maybe the distance makes a, a an influence. I don't know that. But yeah, that is it for today. Um, come back next time where we are going to continue hacking on the Nakalim. It went fairly alright here with Korra. We need to do something about Duel for the influence. Same goes with Matarka. It's probably gonna be our next target. And who knows, maybe the Riftborn here also have something to say about how we are handling things. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a very great time and uh, goodbye.